In this video, I'm going to talk to you about fault code P3 on a Media Air Source heat pump. P3 is a very, very difficult uh, fault code to simulate. If it did come up, it would show on the screen here saying that there is a compressor current problem. So essentially, inside the machine, it has a compressor, which is this thing here, um, inside the jacket. Um, and what happens is the machine measures the current drawn by the compressor um, here through a current clamp, and it means that the current is too high. Um, so the, essentially the unit's working really, really hard. So there's a couple of things that I would look at. Most people would, would condemn the compressor, but what I'm interested in is once the unit's cooled down and the water's cooled down and so on, start it up and see if the compressor actually starts and runs. Check the fan motor starts and runs as well. If it does start, what I'm actually interested in is to go around the back of the unit, have a look at your flow and return pipe work here and check that there is a temperature difference across the two and check that those two are not getting really, really hot because if you get very, very high water temperatures, you get very high currents and you're gonna get this alarm. So start looking at your system, go out and have a look at your low loss header, look at your secondary pump that you have here. If this isn't working, you've got essentially a short circuit here through your circuit and the unit will cook itself and you'll see very, very high um, currents coming through. The other thing you'll find is if the original installer didn't power flush or, or clean the unit and they've decided they're going to use the unit itself as a strainer, it's quite popular, it's a bit scary, um, but if the heat exchanger is blocked full of crap, you get the same problem. So I would be looking at disconnecting the pipe work and flushing it through backwards um, if I had this problem, but only if the compressor actually starts. If you find that you start the machine and the compressor shakes like mad and then stops after a few seconds, you've got yourself compressor problems, you're gonna need a fridge engineer. 